An exponent function is something which allows you to take a number to a selected power. So for example, 2 to the power of 5 or 2 to the power of 7 and everything like that. In Python, there is actually already a built-in exponent function. And to use it, you can simply print. Then you have to select your number, put two asterisks after it, and then put your power. So for example, that's how you would write 2 to the power of 4. And starting the program, it prints out 16 because 2 to the power of 4 is 16. But we're actually going to create a function like that instead of using the built-in one. So let's start by defining a new function. Let's call it raised to power. And it has to take in two arguments. The first one being our base number, the second one being the power. And then inside of this function, we're actually going to start with a variable. We're going to name the variable result and we have to set it to 1. And I'm going to explain why in a second. So now we're actually going to use a for loop and we're going to loop through a range. So for index, and now our range is actually the power we want to multiply by. So this for loop is going to loop for as many iterations as the level of power. So if it's power 1, it's going to loop once. If it's power 5, it's going to loop 5 times. So now actually in our loop, we're going to take the result and we're going to set it to result multiplied by the base number. And at the end after the loop, we have to return the result. And if you look at it now, actually, what is going to happen when we call this function is it's going to take in a base number, a power number, then it's going to create a variable called the result, and it's going to loop for the amount of power you have. And the reason why this calculation is set this certain way is because on the first iteration, so when something is to the power of 1, it's going to take our result and set it to result, which is 1, times our base number. So for example, if we have 5 to the power of 1, it's going to do 5 times 1, which is 5. And then with each other iteration, it's going to multiply that 5 by the base number again. And that's how we're going to raise our numbers. So now we can actually call the function and print out the results. And let's give it, for example, 10 to the power of 5. Run the file, and you can see it shows 100,000 just as it should. We can try other numbers, for example, 1 to the power of 3, which is not going to change much, it's just 1. But if we do 12 to the power of 3, for example, we get 1,728. And yeah, that would be it for today. Yeah.